Hi, it's Tiffany here. Um, in today's Marketing Minute, we're going to talk about how to increase social media engagement. So hopefully most of you have gone into the back office and hooked up the social center um, so that you get all this great content posted to Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter. You can connect all your accounts and it will post automatically for you. So that's really great. And that's the first step in starting out our social media. We've created our accounts. We have this all this content posting automatically for us. So that's really good, right? Now the next step that I want you to do now that you've gotten in a rhythm, you've created your accounts, you have content posting. The next thing I want you to do is work on your engagement. Engagement means the number of clicks, the number of likes, the number of comments things like that that you get on a post. So it doesn't just post and nobody pay attention to it, that you actually get people to engage and interact with the things you post on social media. So what I want us to do, I want you to log into Desk, and that's www.mycbdesk.com, and I want to go to BrandServe. BrandServe um, is one of my favorite tools on CB Desk. I absolutely love it. So let's go to BrandServe. All right, I have been on BrandServe once a few times today. So let me go back to the home screen for you. Um, BrandServe has so, so many options that, of, of images that you can download and the images you can customize. Um, like this one is, you know, it talks about right sizing, whether you're moving up or down. Um, there's a really cool one about um, first time home buyers checklist. You can click on that. Because we're trying to increase social media engagement, I want to go to the one that's a small business shout out. So I'm going to go to the search bar and I'm going to start typing in the word small for small business shout out, right? And as you can see, this drop down menu comes up with several different ones. Um, and there are several different orientations and ways. I'm going to go with this one on the top. I think um, the small business that I want to give a shout out to, this orientation looks good for me. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to bring up and it's going to show me what it looks like. OK, so I will upload an image of the business. I want to give a small shout, a shout out to the small business. I want to shout out and then I can add some information about them. So what I want to do is hit customize the blue button. And it's going to pull up a template and let me customize it. All right, so I get to decide the background color. Do I want it um, blue? Or do I want it white? I think I want it white. I like the way that um, this looks in um, the mock-up here in the proof. I, I, I kind of like that. Um, now I need to add an image of my small business. I've already uploaded an image. Um, the small business I'm wanting to give a shout out to is called Chad's Custom Creations. Um, it's somebody I know locally that um, creates things, woodworking shop type items, and sells them on Etsy. Um, so I'm going to start typing in. Where are they at? They're in Macon, Georgia. Um, but they sell all over. And then now this is where you get known. You get to put your DBA because you are a real estate agent. So when this drop down menu comes there, I want you to start typing in access so you don't have to scroll through all these options. Okay. As RDBA. Then you have to check and agree that you have permission to use the image that you just uploaded. Okay, and this is an image I pulled off Chad's um, Facebook page. He creates these things, and you know, I follow him on Facebook, so I was able to download that image. But you may have an image if you go to the store, if you're at the restaurant, you take a picture of your food, then that's what you would upload. All right, so let's generate a proof and see what it looks like. Okay, so now we're on this screen right here and we're going to view our proof. And it said I had a low resolution image. I downloaded it from Facebook. See, he burns people's names. On, this is a rolling pin. He, he creates like people's names and logos and things like that for them. And it says Chad's Custom Creations. Now, when I pull this um, down and I truly download it, it will no longer be pink. And I'm going to show you that, okay? But, you know, that looks good. You could have, we could add a little bit more. Um, I'm going to check this box beside it because I just did it and I'm going to say add to cart. Remember when we're on brand serve and we add to cart, that does not mean you pay. It feels funny to say add to cart, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to add it to cart. You will not be charged for it. I promise. Okay. 
and then we're going to place order. Once again, it feels funny, but remember, you have not added your credit card information. They do not charge you. Um, it's set up that way for a totally different reason. Okay. So then when you go to distribute file, you can say get file now, and it's going to download it down here for me. Okay. So I'm going to open that up, and you'll see that the words are no longer pink. When I open it, is my computer is taking too long to think. Okay, so this is my small business shout out. Um, you know, it's a, a maple rolling pin that he created with somebody's name on it, Franny. Um, and it says small business shout out, Chad's custom creations support local businesses. So I could go ahead and save this, right? And then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to just save it. Um, here for now. Okay. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I do. Okay. So now that I have that there, now I'm going to go to Facebook. Okay. See, this is where I had it pulled up, where I pulled down his image off the internet. Um, and just so you know, when I click on something like this, if you if you use an image that somebody posted on Facebook, just double tap on that. And then you can copy that image and save that image. Okay. Um, it's better if you take one yourself, but um, you could do it that way. So then when you're in Facebook, you go to your Facebook business page, right? When you create a post. Okay. And so now what am I going to do? I'm going to tag Chad right and not only am i going to tag his small business and upload the picture that i just made on brandserve i'm going to tag him i'm going to tag his wife i'm going to tag the business page everything because if you think about it here let me um pull up the image that i created okay so i've done the image right and then if i tag at Chad's um, there you go Chad's custom creations okay so now he's been tagged so everybody who follows his page will see this post that I've done and if I tag him not only the people who follow his page but his friends which is a slightly different circle then if I tag his wife that's a whole nother circle so now you have more eyes because you're tagging somebody and what do you think Chad's gonna say Chad's gonna say wow she gave me a shout out I'm gonna share that this is how you get more engagement so you can do the small business shout out um, the other thing they have on brand serve that I think you can tag a lot of people in is the good news cb good news and i'm going to show you that one i'm going to go to the search bar and i'm going to type in cb good i think they do it all as a hashtag cb good news okay and this is the social media template this is the one you want to use okay so the same method and the idea of tagging a business page and a person and the people attached to them is so that more people can see you so if we customized a template like CB Good News and we uploaded a picture and we talked about what was going on, then we could tag people um, that way too. Like right now in Macon, Georgia, there is um, just recently opened a warming center for the homeless. So when it gets down too cold, they don't have to sleep outside. They have a place to go in that's warm. So we know people locally I've uh, um, that have helped, that have donated items to this warming center things like that so i could take a picture right if i've gone down there or a friend of mine has gone down there and then i could be i'm so proud of you know our city we have you know opened this warming center so homeless people don't breathe to death blah 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 and then who who am i going to tag well you know the mayor of macon has talked about it a lot we have a new mayor lester miller so i could tag lester miller right and how many friends does he have that are going to see that if i put that on there and i could tag my friend who donated blankets there because she has a totally different friend circle than me are you getting the idea here so between cd good news and the small business shout out 
that you can customize those templates. You can post those, you can tag people, and then your posts get seen more. My thing that I would tell you is to try to do either a small business shout out or a CB good news where you tag a bunch of people at least once a month, right? You can come up with good news once a month or a small business. That's really just 12 a year, okay? And so you don't have to, we already have the social media going for you. You already have this whole robust content calendar putting stuff out on your social media. You don't have to tag multiple people every day. That would get annoying. But if you tag a bunch of people once a month, if you do a small business shout out and you tag the, the business page and the business owner and their family, well, that's going to get noticed. That's how you're going to get that engagement. When you look at the analytics of the things that have posted on your behalf, you'll notice some of them get more engagement. See, this is your engagement over here. I don't have good engagement. You know, I'm not an agent, so I'm not like pushing my things. But this last one, it got three engagements. That's better than look at all these down here. And this one got more engagements. And there, these are the questions. It's asking somebody a question. Would you prefer this or that? Those kind of get engagements. People are like, oh, I prefer one or the other. These are the impressions. It's how many people saw it. This is how many people it reached. Okay. Well, when you do a small business shout out, look at your insights. See if you don't get more engagement because now you've tagged people and a business really appreciates that a small business just like you appreciate if you got a shout out or a review as a realtor hey use this real estate agent use this realtor they're amazing you would be like oh thank you so much you would respond you would engage with that post right so when you shout out to other people it creates goodwill and people engage with it the same with the CB good news so that's my tip for today go to brand serve and um, customize some of these templates. Templates specifically created so you can tag other people and increase your engagement. All right. So, um, and remember, just once a month, once a month will make a big impact. If you can challenge yourself once a month, I'm going to find good news. Once a month, I'm going to give a shout out to a small business. I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to track your results and see what. Did you really increase your engagement? Is tagging worth it? So that's my tip for today. I look forward to hearing from y'all later. Contact me with any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye.